You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy. I did. I was madly in love with him, but his mind was warped. He was smart, handsome, funny, but he actually looked me in my face, asked me to marry him, but wanted me to stay home if I'm not working and only wanted making the enough to pay half the bills, nothing for myself. He didn't want me to do or have anything. He liked me having to depend on him. He enjoyed telling me no. I had my own, but he didn't like it. He didn't want to give me anything, but didn't want me to earn anything either. He would give me what he wanted. I couldn't even eat what or how I wanted to. I remember asking him if I could purchase a small Christmas tree. He told me, yes, but get it last minute because I really don't want one, so it can be an app for a short time. When it was time to get the tree, 12 22nd, he tells me I can't get it. He only told me I could, so we don't have to discuss it, his words. He'd lie to me to get his way then renege like it was normal. He never denied lying either. He said because that's what he wanted to do. He didn't want me to move out but he wouldn't chip in for us to get a bigger place. I'm paying half of all the bills, but all my things including my clothes are in storage. I am not exaggerating. I had a few articles of clothing there and had to drive to HRS every weekend to change out clothes because all my things were in storage. I left him after two years. I was hurt but I couldn't live like that. I tried to find a way to work with him but he refused. It was his way or no way. So, I refused his shackles and toxic love by moving back to Guy. He paid my rent in Ga two or three times telling me to come back. I had to remind myself that this is the same man that would lie to me to get his way. Once he gets his way, it'll go back to the same, because he's done it numerous times. He declined to loan me $200 when my car was towed. This is the same man that knew paying half the bills while my things were in storage two HRS away was breaking me. The same man that knew my car was not registered in any state nor did I have auto insurance for the entire time I was with him. Because I couldn't afford it while paying half of the bills with all my stuff in storage but he absolutely refused to help me. He would tell me no in one breath and tell his friends yes immediately after. We had a pool table in the apt complex club house we lived in. I would ask him to play. He'd tell me no, then go out that same night with his friends and pay to shoot pool with them. In the tours we were together, we played once. I asked him every weekend, fry and sat night for two years. I'm just as good as him, but he didn't want to do anything with me but eat, sleep, and watch TV. He's been on his job for over 17 years. Had not missed a day nor been late to work for Niners when I met him until his father passed. He's very responsible but he just doesn't know how to love. I think about him every once in a while but I know I did the right thing. I'm making three times the amount I was making in TX. I'm paying my rent, not rent and storage, my car is insured, and I can eat what I want. By the way, I'm fit F. I've dated since but has since been resigned that I look better, I feel better, and I am better when I'm single. They don't make men like they used to. Modern men that don't or can't protect and provide want a traditional women that are submissive. Want her to do all the cooking and cleaning, plus pay half the bills. If I'm doing G half the protecting and providing, why can't I have a say so in the household? Why can't he do half the cooking and cleaning? Now, I'll say this. It's it's great that she got out of that relationship, right? Because obviously that was not going to be a healthy or a beneficial relationship for her. Obviously, she is not the type of woman that wants a guy that controls the situation, a scenario, and, and different things of that nature. You do have women out there. She obviously was not one of those women and to note this was just specifically her account of her one example of her dating a guy that she stumbled upon that was a bus driver now the issue that takes place is the fact that she stated that hey you know this guy um we dated for a certain amount of time like during the earlier parts of us dating he looked me straight in the face and he asked could he marry me, right? Which most people would find to be a positive thing. She was like, nah, because of the, the type of person that he is, I basically held off. So what she basically stated was due to the fact of knowing the type of guy that he is, knowing the fact that he is, uh, he has a controlling type of personality when it deals with you know, the finances of the house, uh, the say so, what it is that she is and is not able to do and all of those things. She wasted two years of her life with this guy. Now, remember, he had originally asked her like, hey, you know, you want to get married and different things of that nature. She declined or she held it off up until she felt right 
that she wanted to get married to him. The thing that I'm stating is that instead of waiting two years, you already know that this is not the guy. If this is a guy that you want to get married to, you would not sit up there and, you know, wait. You wouldn't sit up there and waste two years. But if this is a guy that you know you declined his proposal, obviously this is somebody that you don't see as a lifelong partner. Um, it's obviously it's time to go. There's no reason to sit there for two years. There's no reason to go through um, the things that you listed. And and I want to note, um, when I was reading this the very first time, I expected the worst of the worst, right? Because normally when women talk about guys who are um, controlling, um, it usually leads to other things. This instance, that was not the case. The dude was just like, nah, you know, you're going to be with me. Um, you're going to depend on me. Um, what I say goes for pretty much um, everything. I want you to stay directly at home. As she noted, the dude was working. He never out of, I think she stated out of what, uh, 17 years, um, he missed a day. He he had not missed a day nor been late to work for nine years when she met him until his father passed, right? So remember, he's been on his job for 17 years and he only out of nine years, he only missed a day due to the fact of the passing of his father. So obviously we know that the dude is responsible. He's frugal because <laughs> more than likely he has money, you know, saved up. He has money that he can use to, you know, buy a, a better place than what they were living. But he just opted not to do it. I've seen guys like this on a um, a reality television show. It was a black family, and the father was real frugal. Like, he would use change to pay for dinners. And I'm like, yeah, that's a little bit ridiculous. You, you, you might as well just, like, take that somewhere and, like, cash that out at the bank and then go out to dinner. But like I said, that's me. Like I said, you know, uh, that's me. But, um, again... He showed you a variety of instances that he is not the guy that you are looking for. But irregardless of the signs that were given, she decided to stay there for two years. And she stays there. Hey, you know, there are some things I miss about him. I still think about him and got it. No, nah, you should be focused on you're living your best life now, as you stated. You stated that you are better off single. You are fit. You are earning, you know, two to three times the money that you were able to make when you were uh, with him. And you're I think you stated that you say that you were uh, making more. Yeah, you said that uh, I'm making three times the amount I was making in Texas. Right. At no point in time should you be reflecting directly on the past. Right. The past is the past. You didn't want to get married to this dude. You stated that this is not the guy that you wanted to be with due to the fact of how controlling he is when it came to the house and do, when it came to uh, finances. Um, you stated that uh, he made, you know, good money, great money, and um, that you were going 50-50, uh, even though you pretty much didn't have any money at all. And then you stated, lastly, that modern women that don't or can't protect and provide i'm sorry modern men that don't or can't protect and provide want a traditional woman that are submissive what her to do yeah you know, what her to do all the cooking and cleaning plus pay half the bills if i'm doing half and protecting and providing why can't i have a say so in the household why can't he do half the cooking and the cleaning. Now, the thing I'm a little bit confused on is where did the protecting part come from? If out of all the times that you've been with him, there's never been an issue, at least from the book that she wrote, never been an issue of her stating that she didn't feel protected, that she didn't feel that this would be a man that would defend her, stand up for her and yada, yada, yada. Right. Because she's using her relationship as an example for her final point, you know, in a sense to say that, you know, 
this guy wasn't, you know, cooking, he wasn't cleaning, you know, and all this other, you know, type of stuff. Like I said, um, to each is their own. So women can very easily make choices or date multitudes of men. Women don't have to be pinned down or anything like that. It's just a little bit weird knowing the fact that women have selections, they have choices, they can go wherever they want to go. Like I said, she's making two to three times the money. She can go and travel around the world and find her a guy that will marry her or that she wants to be married to. And she'll find a guy that wants to protect her and all of these other, you know, great things. Like I said before, it's, it, it's weird when you have a group of people that have all the options in the world um, in order to actually find a man that will marry them. You, you can literally go on social media and get far more attention that women throughout history were never able to get the amount of attention that women are able to get on social media. There's not a point in time in history where women have been able to do this. Never, never, never on this planet. Women can literally make a profile directly online, uh, put the prerequisites, uh, put uh, expectations and everything else directly out there. And they will have guys coming directly to their Twitter to their DMs, to their Facebooks, to to any any and everything that they're on, men will show up in order to state that hey, um, I fit some of these things here. Let's you know, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can make happen. Right. So, like I said, for me, it's it's a little bit weird. You got you know, women in a sense got everything. Women can make the money. Women can protect themselves, as women commonly state. Women are independent. Women do not want to have kids, nor do women technically in some instances want to get married. And women are out here freely, right, able to express their sexuality, use their bodies the way that they want to use them, make the money that they want to make and and how it is that they want to sit up there making. And they can date any and all men that they want to date. But even with all of those things that women have, again, women throughout throughout history women have never had the type of freedom that they have at this moment in time you're not going to point to a time like through through all of the the trials that women have had to go through through all the things that women have had to go through through all the many obstacles that women have had to face women have the utmost freedom at this moment in time literally but again even with all of that women are still complaining that they can't find this that they can't get this, that they, you know, are um, emotionally this and emotionally that, and that they don't want to get married, but they're still interested or do want to be married. But like I said, it a lot of it does not make sense at all. Obviously here for this example, this woman, she does want a relationship because she spent two years with a guy that she knew that she wasn't going to get married to, but she opted to stay there because I guess she had a hope that he was going to change. That's why she went back and she stated that, hey, you know, when I set up there and finally left Texas and I went to Georgia, um, you know, he tried to get me to come back and she was basically wavering directly on that. But then she was like, no, he's going to, it's still going to be the exact same thing if I decide to go back. Right. So, like I said, what do you get? the person who has everything what do you get them that's all i'm saying like i said i'm glad she made it directly out of that situation i'm glad the situation was not what i thought it was going to turn out to be um initially but i would just simply say that it makes no sense for a woman to spend 2 years in a relationship with a guy that she already declined a marriage proposal from, there's no reason for you to stay there. Like there, there is no benefit. There is literally no reason. Both people are wasting each other's times. He was a fool for deciding to stay there after that proposal was declined. He should have been left. Once, once you give that proposal, it makes no sense to go back and try it again. No, she said no once that is the final and the exact answer. 
and and i'm just simply stating that for all guys if at any moment in time that a girl um or you know girl woman whatever turns down your proposal leave it as that do not go crawling back don't try to figure out another way how to get her to propose she's letting you know that she is not interested because if she really wanted to get married to you she would have the very first time before you could even finish and utter out the words before you even had a chance of pulling off the ring she would have automatically said yes and been crying right and for her again you were a fool as well it made no sense for you to decide to stay there for two years wasting time and energy like you said before when you moved you were able to make two to three times the amount of money that you were able to make when you were in texas in a relationship with him you knew immediately that this is not a guy that you wanted to get married to there was no reason for you to continue on a relationship with a guy that you didn't want to get married to that was the waste of time that was a fool's errand and you are 1000 percent a fool for staying in that and then you have the gall to turn around and wanted to complain as if he was the the max issue in the relationship y'all both got problems but realistically your main problem is that you were stupid in staying directly in that relationship you shouldn't have done it if you value your time and your energy the way that you stated directly in this response that you gave to the short that i put up then you would have left that relationship as soon as you declined his proposal that's all i'm saying